take a look at this. This is a top poll of registered voters, people who are actually going to vote. And 54% of registered voters say that Donald Trump should not even be allowed to run for president, that Trump should not be running, that Trump should be disqualified, that Trump should not even be permitted to seek the highest office of our land. And only 46% said that Donald Trump should be allowed to run for president. Just think about that. 54% of registered voters, 54% say Donald Trump should not be running for president. That is actual data. That's not the feels. That's not the, you know, let's just go and panic. And look, the bottom line is I don't love polls in general, to be very clear, but it I find it so interesting, <laughs> would be putting it in nice terms, that when the polls suit the media's narrative, they're all very poll heavy. When the polls do not meet their narrative, they just tell you kind of what they feel, what their gut says. But let me show you what the modern day Republican voter looks like and sounds like and talks like. This is a Republican voter and this is the type of people who show up now at Trump rallies and Trump events. It's people like her as MAGA's taken over the party and has pushed away the mainstream Republicans. Or here are people who show up at the Donald Trump events People like the Proud Boys, who Donald Trump says he wants to pardon. Or people like this, who show up to Donald Trump events wearing shirts that say, I'm voting for the convicted felon. Or here's the MAGA rapper and MAGA lawyer, um, the MAGA rapper and MAGA lawyer wearing the fake gold Trump chains with the uh, Trump's fake gold face on it. Or how about the fake gold diapers? that the uh, Trump supporters now wear at the various rallies. By the way, this was fact-checked true by Snopes that Trump supporters are showing up to his events wearing fake gold diapers and other diapers as well in order to show solidarity with Donald Trump. And it says real men wear diapers or diapers over Dems. Or how about the fact that on Trump's social media platform, they sell Trump golden bills and you can collect your fake $1,000 Trump golden bill, or how about Trump selling fake Trump golden sneakers with fake red bottoms, or how about Donald Trump saying that you can get a Trump gold USA flag pin, it's the United States of America flag with Trump's name on it, he has taken our American flag, disgraced it, put his name on it the way he puts his name on buildings which end up becoming crime scenes and he sells them for $500 or $1,000. Or how about Trump claims he's endorsed by Jesus Christ, posts photos of himself with Jesus on his shoulders, that he's selling his own Bible. Yes, he's selling his own Bible that combines the Bible with certain portions of the Constitution that Trump prefers, and he removes other portions of the Constitution, and he sells it for like 60 bucks. And on the frequently asked question part of the website, it talks about how the pages are very sticky. And then you have, again, here are some modern day Republican voters right here, leaders in the party, if you will, saying things like, uh, there's God, Jesus, Mary, and then Trump, or you've got your blacks for Trump right here. This is what they look like. You have the MAGA circus. They all dress up like this at Donald Trump's events. And then Donald Trump now dresses up members of Congress, MAGA Republican Congress members dress up like this. You see them wearing the fake gold sneakers with the fake red bottoms. That's MAGA Republican Congress member Troy Nels, but I could show you photos of other uh, Republican Congress members who dress like this. Notice he has the Trump tie. It's Donald Trump's face on his tie. And he says, other than faith and family, the only hope we have is President Donald J. Trump. Think about that. First off, he's not the president. Second, just think the Republicans used to be limited government, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. And here you have a purported grown man member of Congress with an R after his name for Republican dressing up and cosplaying as Donald Trump, not even cosplaying, wearing Donald Trump's face on his tie and 
saying that the only hope that he has is Donald Trump? I mean, what are you talking about? On the other hand, you've got President Biden actually joining workers on the picket line, shoulder to shoulder with the United Auto Workers, and actually delivering an incredible deal for them and other unions. Meanwhile, Donald Trump went to a non-union shop and pretended it was a union shop. You've got President Biden being just an authentic person. So when I hear all this punditry out there, you know, trying to act like, oh, President Biden isn't with the people, the people understand what's at stakes. Perhaps the punditry class who is out there, um, who's both sides to all of these issues and frankly are probably as responsible for Trump as MAGA itself. Now they want to tell the people who President Biden has benefited what they should think. It's absolutely ridiculous. But let's focus on that data that I showed you. And let's talk about people who actually study data and talk about the data. Like a former Republican, or he's still a Republican, um, but one of the top Republican analysts, political operatives, name is Mike Madrid out here in California. Here's what he has to say. He goes, this is a winnable race still for President Biden. Like, th this is this is a battle. This, this is a time to roll up our sleeves. Enough with the whining and let's get to work. Watch what Mike Madrid has to say here. It's pretty incredible. Play this clip. You have a candidate that has flaws. They're significant. But he's better than a 34-time convicted felon. Pick up your swords and march down the battlefield. That's how you win. It's not taking off ramps, folks. The Republicans are not taking off ramps. If you don't think this is a winnable race, you're not paying attention to the data. It's extremely winnable. Then let me show you this right here where um, CNN had on, it's actually a good segment of CNN. They had a historian on, uh, Lickman, who correctly predicted all of the U.S. elections, says Biden has all of the subjective, actual uh, subjective and objective criteria, all of the metrics here um, uh, or the objective metrics about why he should win. And, and he goes through it in detail here. This is important to watch. Let's watch the full thing. Play this clip. All of these pundits and pollsters and analysts that you see on all the cable channels and all the networks have no track record in predicting elections. And yet they come on and they claim they know how this debate is going to affect the outcome of elections. They have no idea. It's sports talk radio. It may be entertaining, but it has no scientific basis. So what is, the, what is the impact, do you think? Zero. Debates are not predictive of outcomes. Hillary Clinton won all three debates, still lost. John Kerry won all the debates, still lost. Barack Obama got trounced, 72 to 20% in the poll, worse than Biden, and went on to win. That's why we rely on the 13 keys which tap into the structure of how elections really work. And they show that Democrats really only chance to win, contrary to everything you've heard, is with Biden running. Look at the incumbency key. Biden checks that off. The contest key, he checks that off. He was uncontested. It takes six keys to count out the White House party. But you know, uh, that means Alan of the remaining 11 keys, six would have to fully finish. Yeah. Biden doesn't run. They lose the contest key. They lose the incumbency and only four more keys would have to fall. I think that that's actually kind of what I was trying to get at here is that the, the problem right now is that the Democratic Party is considering replacing Biden mostly because it's unclear whether or not he actually physically can carry out the rest of this campaign and and put up a fight against his opponent. So that seems like a fundamentally different thing than some of the items that you have in your rubric. It's a huge mistake. They're not doctors. They don't know whether Biden is physically capable of carrying out a second term or not. Remember, a lot of folks were saying the same thing about Ronald Reagan, who was, you know, 73, and age was very different then. And they said, you know, he's not capable of carrying out another term. He won 49 states. So this is all foolhardy nonsense. The same pundits and pollsters who led us down the primrose path in 2016 are giving the Democrats horrible advice. This proves what I've been saying for years. 
Republicans have no principles. Democrats have no spine. Republicans are sticking with a blatant liar who lied for every one minute and 20 seconds of that debate. Donald Trump put out a lie. And by the way, lies stick. Debate performances can be overcome. And now the first sign of, of you know, adversity, the spineless Democrats want to throw under the bus their own incumbent president. My goodness. And then finally, let me just show you President Biden when he was at the Waffle House following the debate. People understand what authenticity looks like. Whereas Donald Trump performs stunt after stunt, goes into a purported black church in Detroit, fills it with white MAGA supporters who chant his name in a house of worship while wearing hats. And Trump has people cursing in churches now. They're out there using curse words and doing curse chants. Like, are you getting, here, here's, con, contrast that, or, or or I should say, Donald Trump going into barbershops and, and exploiting the barbershop owner for just political gain and the barbershop owner losing business, who's just trying to support uh, black owned businesses in Atlanta. On the other hand, here is President Biden at the Waffle House. Here, play this clip. Yes, sir. You, you know, you spent too much time in the gym, I think. <laughs> Hey man, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, you're welcome. You're really welcome. You have our support. <laughs> God, I love you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. People get it. People get it. Forget this. Forget these pundits. Look, people understand what's up and they care about authenticity. They understand the stakes. Hit subscribe, let's get to three million together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at midastouch.com newsletter.